Oh no. You're all reading poetry now? Alright, so in today's video, we are going to talk about the poem A Center by the poet Ha Jin. This is a short poem, so I expect this will be a shorter video. Uh, I hope you enjoy the message that this poem is intended to give to you. Okay, so first I want to read the poem to you. And then we'll begin a discussion of what's happening in this poem. So let's jump right to it. You must hold your quiet center where you do what only you can do. If others call you a maniac or a fool, just let them wag their tongues. If some praise your perseverance, don't feel too happy about it. Only solitude is a lasting friend. You must hold your distant center. Don't move even if earth and heaven quake. If others think you are insignificant, that's because you haven't held on long enough. As long as you stay put year after year, eventually you will find a world beginning to revolve around you. This poem is broken into two stanzas, so let's take a look first at what the first stanza is trying to get us to focus on. It begins by telling us to listen to that quiet part of us that knows who we are meant to be. Listen to your quiet center, it says, or hold on to your quiet center. It goes on to say, if others are being haters, Ignore their wagging tongues, leave them behind, focus on that inner part of you that knows who you are trying to be. Then it comes with a word of caution. If you begin to find that people are praising you, don't become arrogant about that. Don't let that go to your head, because eventually those praises may fade away, and all you have left to hang on to, the thing that it says is permanent, is solitude. Now there's a difference between solitude and loneliness. Solitude is where you go to be alone intentionally, to focus on yourself, to focus on what's important, and to grow in that time. That's solitude. Loneliness uh, is separate from that. So here it's saying solitude is going to be with you forever. The praises may not. Then we move into the second stanza. You must hold your distant center. This is a little different from the idea in stanza number one, where it talks about the quiet center. The distant center turns our focus to the future, what's to come. The line that says, don't move even if heaven and earth quake, is telling us troubles are gonna come. We are going to experience times where we are uncertain or unsure. Uh, things are thrown at us that we, we have no control over. Don't let that put you off course. Stick to who you are trying to be. Stick to the goal that you've set out to achieve. Don't let uh, the world's interruptions drag you off course. If others find you insignificant, that's because you haven't been playing the long game. You haven't held on long enough 
to that goal that you're trying to achieve. The poem wraps up by saying, as long as you stick to who you're trying to be, as long as you focus on that quiet center, and you have that distant center in focus as well, then eventually you are going to achieve that goal that you set out to. Eventually, you will end up in a world where the focus is on you. If you keep at it long enough, your hard work is going to pay off and you are going to be able to look back and feel a sense of accomplishment, a sense of joy in who you've become. You knew long ago who you wanted to be and now you finally have gotten there. This would give you a sense of, of joy and of achievement. And that's what I think this poem is urging us to hold on to. Hold on to our dreams. Hold on to our visions. Hold on to the goals that we have. Think about and focus on the person that you want to be both now and in the future. And do the things that you need to do to make that possible. Whatever that is for you right now, focus on that. Don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the distractions. Push those things aside. Don't get too wrapped up in the praises that you receive. Those are nice while, they, while you have them, but they will go away. Focus on your eventual goal. Focus on who you want to be, and the praises will come and go. But as long as you find a way to take joy in your achievements, take joy in the things that you do well and who you've become, this is the thing that you're striving for, to achieve the person that you want to be. One thing I appreciate about this poem is it gets straight to the point that it's trying to make and it's relatable to us in various stages of our lives. Whether it's right now where you're in school or you're at work or you're trying to get to that next level in your job or you're trying to transition from one stage of life to the next these ideals are relevant no matter where you are at in life so what i'd like you to tell me in the comments below is what are you striving for who do you want to be and what steps are you taking right now to ignore the distractions ignore the people that tell you you aren't good enough who are you trying to be how are you going to get there let me know in the comments below, and I hope you find this poem to be encouraging, and maybe this is a time where you can refocus on what's important to you and double down on the things that you need to do to achieve those things and to become the person you want to be. Alright, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the poem. Uh, if you want to come back for more, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.